What's up guys, Aaron Bennett here. In this video, Alex Mashinsky resigns as Celsius' CEO and there's a new CEO that replaced him. What does this mean for the recovery and what ultimately does this mean for getting our freaking coins back? So this morning, Alex said, I elected to resign my post as CEO of Celsius today. Nevertheless, I will continue to maintain my focus on working to help the community unite behind a plan that will provide the best outcome for all creditors, which is what I've been doing since the company filed for or bankruptcy. He then says, I believe we all will get more if Celsians stay united and help the UCC with the best recovery plan. I remain willing and available to continue to work with the company and their advisors to achieve a successful reorg. So as of now, he is not being completely booted from everything regarding this company, which some people are still a little bit concerned about or have questions about, but I'll get to that in a second. Here, a story coming out at the same time, Chris Ferraro is going to be the chief chief restructuring officer and the interim chief executive officer. So Chris Ferraro has been the chief financial officer, the CFO of Celsius, I believe starting in March of this year, and he spent nearly 18 years at JP Morgan Chase. So he has a lot of experience with banks, ironically, and with big financial institutions. Next, I want to talk about what the UCC has to say about Alex stepping down and resigning. So here they say the committee commenced an investigation regarding among other things, the debtor's pre-petition conduct. So basically the UCC was looking into what Alex, the insiders, the company was doing pre-bankruptcy petition. It then goes on to say, after reviewing, among other things, the info provided, the UCC concluded that allowing Alex to remain as CEO was unacceptable and not in the best interests of the estate and that new leadership was required. So essentially, they said Alex can't be the CEO. So did he resign or was he fired? Well, we don't know. It then says the committee demanded, demanded, very, very strong language here, that the special committee of Celsius Network, aka the special committee, remove Alex as CEO and take other steps necessary to support an orderly transition. So the committee demanded that Alex was removed. So again, was it voluntary or was he forced? At this point, it doesn't matter because he's out. And I'll talk about what this means for the future of this recovery and our coins in just a second. And here saying that Mr. Ferraro is capable of overseeing Celsius's assets and affairs. So they wanted him to replace Alex. And here it says the committee, the UCC, remains optimistic that a chapter 11 plan, whether contemplating a sale, a reorganization or otherwise, is possible and that an open and transparent process will maximize value. And finally, they said the committee intends to pursue any actionable claims against Alex, other insiders, and any related parties for the benefit of all account holders and unsecured creditors. So I believe this means that the committee is still investigating Alex and other insiders. So what do I think about this? Why do I think this is actually a good idea even for Alex? Well, for one, it takes him out of the spotlight. We have the independent examiner that will be appointed very soon, and him not being the CEO just takes the spotlight a little bit off of him because he's no longer running the company, right? So I think this was a very smart move from Alex's perspective as well. It may have hurt his ego to leave, but again, Alex does not want to be prosecuted and he does not want people to be looking into his personal life as much. So I think this is really going to help him as well. And it's also going to help us as well, because there is no way that a new company was going to start, a new co, Kelvin, was going to emerge as Alex as the CEO. Nobody thought that was going to be possible. So I think this is good for us, the unsecured creditors. It's actually good for Alex as well. And it's good for everybody involved. I really think this is what should have happened from the very beginning. Also, you got to remember that the two leaked audios, the first one was mostly Oren talking about the plan of reorganization and the new co, Kelvin. And then the second leaked audio was Nuke Goldstein talking all about the wrapping of the tokens and the IOUs. So already, Alex wasn't really the one talking about what's going to happen with the new company. All right. So I think there was some signs that maybe he wasn't going to be the one leading the ship moving forward. And I want to talk about this story that I posted a few days ago. Essentially, Compute files for bankruptcy. This is a crypto mining data center 
owing up to $500 million. But here is very important. The company's CEO stepped down earlier this month, and ironically, the COO will serve as the president. So this happened about a week ago or so on the 22nd. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, well, Alex should step down too, because this is what happens. You know, if there is some issue with the company, uh, the leader that led everybody into that mess needs to step down, just like what happened here with this mining company. And two things to note before I end this video, the Celsius UCC has its first virtual town hall tomorrow, which is going to be Wednesday at 12 p.m., Eastern time on YouTube live. They say, feel free to submit questions in advance in the comments. So you would have to be following them on Twitter to do so. There will be a lot to cover and the link will be posted tomorrow morning. I assume it'll be recorded because it is on YouTube. So if you don't catch it live, it's okay. I will definitely be making an updated video on it as well. And regarding Alex stepping down as CEO, this is what the UCC said today on Twitter. The UCC is hearing questions about Alex remaining as a director of Celsius Network Limited, CNL's board of directors has a special committee of two directors to oversee all restructuring issues. Very important. It says here, Alex is not on the special committee. Tune in tomorrow for more information about that. So a lot of people, again, were concerned being like, okay, Alex is no longer CEO. Does that mean he is still running the ship, just not as CEO, right? You remove the title, but does he still have the same influence like he did before, right? Does this actually change anything? People are wondering. So tomorrow, again, they will cover that on YouTube. So guys, that's it for this video. Short and sweet. Just wanted to get this news out to you. And till next time, guys, talk with you soon and bye for now.